hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make an easy but yet delicious whole tilapia fish for this good Friday coming up so for this I am using three whole tilapia and you will be needing some olive oil and I have two lime that I'll be using to clean my fish and I'm using a little bit of hot pepper this is crushed red pepper and I am going to be using some type of blender to blend my spices and the spices are some red and green bell pepper I am using four cloves of garlic some thyme a little bit of fresh parsley and about five green onions or scallions as some of you might call it and a little bit of onion and I am going to be using half a lemon and of course some salt and pepper to taste and also I will be using some type of rack to put my fish on top when we are going to bake it please check the description box where I will list everything I use in this video so let's get cooking guys to get started you want to make sure everything is clean I always clean my stuff before I even cut them and after I cut them so now you want to go ahead and put your garlic onions basically all the spices for those of you who's been following me following me for a long time you know this is basically like making Haitian a piece or that famous Haitian spice I always talk about except in that one I don't usually add onions or anything and now I'm going to cut my scallion just rough cut them because they are going to blend okay so nothing too special over here put everything together if you make too much you have left over it's okay just press everything down and I am going to put like maybe two spring of thyme in there nothing too much and I am going to squeeze that lime juice make sure you don't have any seeds in there guys my seed is kind of getting away from me I thought I took it all out but I guess I did not put all that lemon juice in there and we are going to add some oil in there this part is really eyeballing just make sure you put enough so that your stuff will blend okay and I am going to be using oh, excuse me a little bit of black pepper mine does not want to open let me bring it over here a little bit of black pepper put that in there and I am using a little bit of salt as well okay just so my fish can be nice and delicious and put a lid and we are going to blend this until it's nice and smooth all right this is what might look like it's kind of a little watery paste you can see and I am going to taste it is perfect if you want you can always add a little more lime or lemon to yours and now we can move on to cleaning our fish so to clean your fish you want to go ahead and grab your la lemons limes <laughs> now these are limes you want to go ahead and grab your lime what I like to do to get the most juice out of them is kind of press them down and on top of my cutting board or any flat surface okay just like that and then now you can cut it and you will get as much juice out of them when you roll them on the cutting board if you haven't please go follow me on my social medias Instagram Facebook Twitter snapchat the whole shebang I will leave my um, the link to those down in the description box so when I clean fish first thing I like to do is cut these things I guess I don't know what they call but cut these little guys off I do have other videos showing you guys um, a more detail of how I clean fish that envelope that just came up you can click that envelope so you guys can see but I really wanted to show you guys how I clean it on this video as well so you don't have to go back and forth okay and I really wanted to show you guys how I make that spice as well 
so let me do less talking and more working <laughs> okay so continue cutting okay and I will grab this one now we want to make uh, make sure we get inside the fish so I like to take my scissors and just cut if you have really good scissors this should be super easy and you are going to get your hands dirty guys if you don't like the feeling of this you can always wear some gloves okay but I don't mind and now you want to take your hand and try to spread the cavity open and now we want to work right here by the head and take your knife you can see and take this part here out and you are going to hold on to it and just pull it apart and all the stuff inside will come out like I said you gotta have a good stomach for this guys but if you want to eat good you have to clean your stuff Dante my oldest son is standing here watching he he don't look too excited but they love to eat fish well this is how it goes and this is a little anatomy Dante since you guys are homeschooling a little fish anatomy okay you guys can see I'm just basically taking all the stuff from the inside it have a lot of fat in there too as you can see okay just scrape everything off Again, you can use glove to do this if you'd like, but I myself, I consider myself a pro at this at this point, okay? <laughs> All right, make sure everything is off. So this video might be a little long just because I really want to show you guys everything. But right now we all have time. So if you want to eat good, I guess you just have to watch the video okay now you want to take your knife and just kind of go through the top of the fish sometimes you still some scales that's remain on the top okay just roughly go through it and this little hole right here I don't know if you guys can see right here I like to cut it out so take your knife And just cut it out okay and this is pretty good right now and I will show you guys this next step right away so now you want to take your lime you want to put some salt in the cavity for me and sprinkle a little bit of salt in the cavity of the fish And now take your um, lime and just really clean your chicken. Or I say chicken. <laughs> just clean your fish. Guys, I don't care where you're from, but please do not skip this part. This is really important. Just this brings some flavor to your fish before we cook it. So make sure you do this part. Do not skip this part. And I'm going to go ahead and do a couple slit just so my seasoning can get in there properly okay and just so you guys know if you want a little more flavor in your fish you can go ahead and keep it in a little bit of salt water overnight that will bring a lot more flavor to it but that's optional that's if you guys want to you don't have to okay you can see clean inside and now you want to rinse this under some cold water do not use warm or hot water you want to use cold water for this guys okay I repeat use cold water so I have a bucket with some cold water so basically you just go ahead and rinse your fish okay clean it really good on the inside make sure nothing else is left in there and then I'm going to place this on top of a paper towel and then I'll come back and show you guys how we can season it to start cooking it. 
Okay guys, so to get started, I went ahead and grabbed a cookie sheet and lined it up with some foil just so it can save me on the cleaning time. And now I am using a rack and just brush it with some olive oil just so the fish does not stick to it, okay? Because we are going to be cooking this underneath the oven. As I said, that way we don't have to use any oil to fry it. But if you guys want fried fish, I do have a lot of fish video up in this channel. So make sure you check out the other videos that I do have on this channel, okay? I like to flip it over as well. Just because I want to make sure both sides have oil. Okay. Don't be intimidated by cleaning fish or cooking whole fish, guys. I promise it is not that difficult. You can do it. If I can do it, so can you. So while you are inside, do something new. If you haven't cooked whole fish, challenge yourself and do this for yourself, okay? All right, so now I'm going to set this to the side. And that marinade that we made, I am going to take half of it and dump it in here and save the other half so we can use it to brush on our chicken. But we have to make sure we cook that one and I will show you how I do it. So now you want to go ahead and take your fish. I hope I didn't say chicken. I swear I keep saying chicken instead of saying fish. Now you want to take your fish and that marinade. Let me put it somewhere closer and grab it and really rub it inside the fish. Okay. Remember, if you put your fish in salted water overnight, you should already have enough salt in your fish, which I did in mine, okay? Rub that all over your fish, as I said. You want to go ahead and preheat your oven to um, 450 degrees. We are going to bake this at 450 degrees. And I'll just take a piece of thyme and just put it inside. Nothing special. I'm not putting any um, lime or lemon on the top or anything or on the inside. Again, with this fish, rub the inside. Okay. And flip it over. And remember, we did put a little bit of oil in that marinade as well. And I am going to put a little bit of thyme inside. And we are going to cook this at 450 degrees. And we are going to try to do five minutes on each side. So once, once one side is cooked for five minutes, flip it over. And we are going to cook it for another five minutes. And then we're going to switch our oven to broil. And we are going to continue cooking it in the broil setting okay so I'm going to stick this under the oven and I'll come back and show you guys what I do with the rest of that marinade okay now we want to go ahead and cook that marinade down you want to put a couple teaspoon of oil and I am going to take some of this this happened to you, it's okay. Just take it off the heat. Okay. And I'm going to add a little heat to it. Just a little bit of that um, pepper flake and squeeze a little bit of lime juice. If you have lemon still, you can definitely use lemon. Okay. And let that cook on super, super low for like two minutes. Nothing major. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt to it also. And you can add a little bit of black pepper. And that's pretty much it. We are going to use this to baste our fish. That way it is not 
too dry when we are eating it, okay? After cooking them at the 450 degrees, five minutes on each side, now you want to go ahead and turn your oven on to broil. And I am going to use that paste that we made just to brush my fish. That way they can stay nice and moist. That's my oven. Okay, we are going to put them back under the oven, like I said, at um, broil. And we are going to cook them seven minutes on each side until they are nice and golden brown okay so once they go on for the first seven minutes flip them over brush the other side with this delicious um, sauce and then let them cook for another seven minutes okay my fish is finally done as you can see they look so juicy I'm going to cut into one of them just to show you guys how moist they still look you can see it's cooked and it's nice and moist okay I am going to taste this piece I just can't resist mm -mm. the salt is perfect everything is just delicious I am going to eat mine with a little bit of spicy coleslaw I do have a recipe up in this channel so make sure you check that recipe and I will also be eating this with some chapati or or knowing as roti or maybe um, tortilla to some I will be um, I will be posting this video very soon for you guys but this will do it for this video please please guys make sure you try this recipe and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment like and share as always thank you guys so much for watching have a happy happy wonderful Easter and have a good good Friday all right I will see you guys in my next one I love you guys bye bye